Hi, this is uh, Don D. You'll find me on my website, dond-wp.com. Um, what we're going to look at uh, today is uh, nesting sliders. Uh, now, this can get a little bit um, complicated, especially in the the objects tab, especially when you have quite a number of sliders. Uh, on the page so here we have I have it here now this this um, nesting slider was made up by Lon uh, who lives in California and he, and he let me have it just as a, uh, a demonstration so here we have uh, the slider on the on the page at the moment it's blank because you'll find that that is the foreground if I click that, and you'll see on the top left here, foreground. So if I go through the panels, there's panel one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so we've got seven panels in this slider. Now each one of those panels has got a um, its own slider on. If I click through again here, uh, that's just a text box on the left, and here is panel 4 uh, of this slider and there's that's the foreground and there's a number of pictures in this slider so the main slider has got seven panels and each panel has a slider with X number of pictures or whatever you want to show you could show rotating text pictures as there is here uh, anything really and do the actions for that particular slider now all the all the sliders as you can see uh, there's eight, eight uh, slider eight objects so we've got one two three four five six seven eight and then within see that slider there we have another slider so if you open everything up it would be quite complicated so when you're working on one item close all the others up and then you know where you are within re within reason I say it, it can get um, if you have a number of other objects on the page rather than just the slider what you can do if you go down to show it says all objects now if you click slider panel then it will just show the slider panels in the uh, in the objects tab which is another way of just cutting down a few bits and pieces but anyway, to show you how to organize this, what we need to do first is to select the slider, click Edit. Now here, this is the, the settings we've set for uh, showing all these panels in turn. So what we've done, we have set it, set it up as a medley, which 
it'll go uh, from left to right, right to left, bottom to top, um, top to bottom, and fade in and out, or to uh, randomly. And then we've got here, we've got 25,000 milliseconds, so that's 25 minutes. And then uh, you can start at any any location on this. So we could start with artists, that would be the first one to go. And then loop it, and then you can set all these other items, uh, auto play, um, stop play when next and previous clicked and detect mouse wheel action so you've if you put your the user puts his cursor over the slider and um, scrolls the wheel it will change the the uh, the panel one way or the other depending on which way you turn the wheel so that's that's this bottom one Okay, that. Now we have this panel open. This is panel six, and then we've got this slider on panel six. And this has one, two, three, four, five. So we've got all those. So what we can do here is to go to edit and this one is set to medley as well with all the same settings on the left and then we've got starting from panel one and this one these are 5000 milliseconds so that's five seconds that they auto change and here are the panels one, two, three, four, five. So the main slider is set at 25 seconds and we have five photographs set at five seconds. So it should show all these photographs and then change the slider. So you've got to try and work it out with the times. And then if you want to change your photographs and everything, you just click, drag on, go to the next one. Um, these are all my Scotland photographs from this year. Put that on again because that's the only portrait one I've got I don't know what is let's try a landscape one there we are This is just a demonstration. There we go. Right. So if we preview this there we go should be five seconds and then change and then another five seconds change another five seconds change another five seconds change and another five seconds the whole lot changes so once you've set it up 
it can be quite uh, uh, eye-catching uh, and show a lot of information uh, in one little space. Well, I hope that uh, has given you a little insight into nesting sliders. So you have one main slider first and add panels or whatever you want to move there and then on those panels you can put another slider or more than one slide uh, and that's it you, s you set up the times and everything and it will run away uh, the only thing that you may have and you've got to watch out when you have so many sliders on the let's get this one on on the page you have got to watch that you don't have um, any sliders or panels with the same name what you say you shouldn't have any sliders not panels but sliders with the same uh, ID here see that's slider 111 um, that's 666 that's that one is 666 and that one is 666 so that is going to cause a conflict that is going to cause a conflict and what happens is and I'll show you here on this one what happens Hopefully it should start at any time. Where are you? Here we go. Right, here we go. And this is good. And then it slides. Oh, well, there's the second one slides underneath it. So it's showing one on top of the other. Um, and then again there. So it's taking the, the main slider there, is taking the five second timing from this smaller slider. And what you might be able to do, um, there is an option in Site Manager for the site check. Uh, if we check Art of Wine and start the. Now that hasn't picked up any problems. we know with this slider panel that there is a problem so if you have something similar then you have to go through each one to see if there's the same slider number right I hope that's a bit, bit clearer um, and then next tutorial I'm going to do is uh, accordion slider okay that's all for this tutorial. Thank you. Goodbye.